said what? I can't believe it. Just like that, straight out. Uh huh. Don't get any ideas about getting involved, sweetie. I'm only after a one night stand. Or words to that effect. And that was supposed to make you say yes. Apparently. What a sleaze bag. <gasps> Men amaze me sometimes. Nothing guy does ever amazes me. Hey guys. Hi. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Okay, take two. Hi guys. Hey. Oh wait, hey, let's let's do a cute little thing where I say, um, it's the Kodak Kerouac. What if we did that? We're not leaving like one of those cutesy voicemail messages, so no. No. Alright, so you have probably been wondering why we haven't been online blogging lately. Well, we've been busy. It's been a long time. It has been a really long time. An embarrassingly <laughs> long time. And we have been very busy. Not that all of you out there haven't been busy. I know that you have. Everyone has wonderful Busy lives. But we have been recuperating from the trip, scanning our negatives, and would you like to... I would, producing this beautiful <gasps> book proposal. What? what? Now, don't get excited. It's not a book, as in like a book of 500 photographs, but it is a book proposal, which is one step closer to getting a book. Uh, if you're a publisher out there, you know what this is. If you're not, mm -hmm. let me explain. It is based... <laughs> Will you Vanna White this for me? I am Vanna Whiting it right now. Um, okay, so it's got pictures okay. in it, and it's got words in the front of it. Oh, yeah. Show the Here. words first. Okay, um, here's some words. It is basically uh, who you are, what you're doing, you know, how you're doing it for the publisher. Why should we publish you? What are you about? Is there an audience for you? Will I make money off you? Not yeah, much clearly. After. So we have spent the past probably six weeks doing this. And it's been all of blood, sweat, tears. Yeah, we now More realize tears. exactly how much work it's going to be to get this book together, which is going to be, you know, all of our time. But totally worth it. You know, yeah. I got this in the really mail rewarding. yesterday, and it's just the proposal, and I was just out of my mind. Right. Here, um, here's the box. Here's the box. Woo! <laughs> um, the, but we had to have it done this week because where are you going? Thursday, I'll be going to New York for the <gasps> PDN conference. A big Apple. Yes, I'm hitting the Big Apple. What is the PDN conference for those who don't know? Oh, well, I guess this is the Photo Plus Expo. I think that's the official title of it. But it's um, by PDN Magazine, and it's a grouping of, like, seminars. And they tell you how to write a book, and they tell you how to take good pictures. And they try to sell stuff. I think Kodak will have a table there. All right, Kodak, if you're watching this video, which you will be because we're going to post it on your Facebook page, we'll she's going to be there. One half of the Kodak Kerouac. And she's got book proposals and business right cards here. and pizzazz. Lots of that. And a sparkly dress. I do have a sparkly dress. So please, please, if you're going to be in New York or if you're going to be at this conference, which then you would still have to be in New York, um, give Valerie a buzz. Please send me an email. Um, I'm Valerie at KodakKerouacs.com. And it's you can hard. give one to me too, but I won't be there. So, But this is exciting. Yes. Um, so that's why we haven't been online lately, but we will now. We're, we're online with this video, and I'm going to be blogging a lot since I'm not going to be in New York. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> um, but for those of you who have stuck with us, thank you so much. Thank you. You're going to be hearing from us about us. In one way or the other. In I know the future. we've been quiet, but that's yeah. over. That time is over now. Right. I don't right. want to call it a comeback. No, we just had a, um, a, not a rest and relaxation. A but siesta? We had a siesta. We had a siesta. siesta. And now we're back. And hopefully by Christmas time, we'll be able to tell you that, yay, we got a book deal. Yay. Or, yay, we're going to be self publishing. Or if that doesn't work out, yay, we're going to be living on the streets. No, we're going to be self-publishing. Okay. And okay. if that doesn't, well, yeah. So um, so just bear with us. We we are, you know, not... It's in progress. It is. We're not on a road trip, so we're not blogging every day, and we don't have exciting things to tell every day. There's only so many days I can say, yay, I'm scanning. Because after four it's, blog posts about that, you don't want to hear about that anymore. No, we don't want to hear about no. that anymore. So um, our scanner doesn't want to hear about that yeah, anymore. No, our scanner hates us. But things are, are going to be, they're exciting, and they are going to move forward in the next couple months. And please, everybody, use their universal thoughts and prayers and uh, power of positivity and tell everybody you know who's a publisher 
Because mm-hmm. everyone knows a publisher. Everyone does. Well, everyone does. Except for us, somehow. We don't know one. So but, you, but we're going to know. Some. Right. So if you know a publisher, please get head them this way. Okay? She's going to New York in a couple of days. So wish her a safe flight. And hopefully we'll be hearing the good news about we got a book deal in the next couple of weeks. So, all right. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Um, I'm so glad we don't do live chats. I know. We would be, like, fucked. And to kick off our L.A. show, we have a special guest here today. Please welcome from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, author of Drinking and Tweeting and Other Brandy Blunders, Brandy Glanville. (laughs) Yeah! Yeah. Hello! Welcome. This is going to be Thank you. So, Brandy, do you have a reputation as being kind of the Beverly Hills bad girl, or? Um, I think I do. I mean, I'm definitely in my head not the bad girl, but I I have a temper and I say the f word a little bit. There was a lot of yeah, effort. Right. I mean, yeah. you're thinking about mix. anger management or anything like that? Or no, because I get over it very quickly. So you I just, just vent. We talked yeah. about that on the show that sometimes that's then very I good. Don't right. hold it in. Right. And and do you share some of these stories in your book? <clears throat> Drinking and tweeting and other brandy blunders. One of those blunders is cursing too much, you said? Uh, no, not really. Um, it's not about the housewife, so it's not a housewife book, but there's a plenty of other blunders in there. Well, you don't want to drink and tweet because you might say some things. Yeah, drunk <laughs> tweeting? It's, oh. exactly. it's, safe, it's, okay. it's safer, safer to text. Yeah, so you need an app that comes up when you're had like two glasses of wine that says don't. Do this. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you want to that would it. be very entertaining with you, Brandy. Oh, yeah, you know what? It can get fun. Islam, <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, from, from within the Muslims also, you have to take our deen back. You really do. It's, it's our deen, and we have to stand by it as a, the way it's supposed to be stood by. Finally, inshallah ta'ala, I want to uh, give you a bit of encouragement uh, and uh, from a different point of view. You guys, alhamdulillah, you're in college now or in high school now, and you have your entire careers ahead of you, your family lives ahead of you, and you know you, you have a lot of major decisions around the corner in your life. And what I'd like you to think about for yourself, and you're just only doing this for yourself, is I want you to think about what legacy you'll leave behind in the world. When you're about to get married, I, I know she's pretty and you're crazy about her and all of that. But beyond that, is she going to be a good mother? Is she the kind of girl that you would want raising your children? And will those be the kinds of children that long after you're gone, they will be committing to the prayer, they will understand the truth of Islam, and they will be torchbearers for justice and truth in that society no matter what's going on. Will they be those kinds of children? You know. That's, I mean, a decision like marriage, a decision like what kind of career you're going to go into, you have to recalibrate your thoughts. And you have to really think at a higher plane that you're going to be leaving a mark. And you, sincerely, you ask Allah, what is it that, you know, you, that Allah, you know, that you, you ask Allah, how can you be of service to His deen? How can you be a force of good, a, cha- a, a, a mark of good in the world? And inshallah ta'ala, Allah will open a door for you. Whether it's in the field of medicine and engineering, it doesn't matter. Those are not a religious fields. You can be the, and if you're going to go into a field, be the best at it. That's what Islam asks of you. If you're going to be a programmer, don't be a scrub programmer with dirty, pro, you know, dirty code. Be the best there is at it. If you're going to go into medicine, be the top of your class. Excel, you know. That's something at least that we push a lot in Pakistan, right? To, to get good grades. But I'm saying. I'm Dr. Austin, the founder of the Frozen Shoulder Recovery Procedure, the Trigenics Frozen Shoulder Recovery Procedure, with two of our uh, former frozen shoulder patients here. Okay, we have Hermina on my left and we have Rosemary on my right. And uh, 
uh, there is something on YouTube that says that frozen that they can fix frozen shoulder with acupuncture in one minute. I'm sorry, that's not true because frozen shoulder actually is an adhesive capsulitis that requires actual dissection of the tissue, either surgically or manipulation under anesthesia, or alternatively, my procedure, which is the Trigenics frozen shoulder uh, recovery procedure, which does not require uh, general anesthesia and does not require surgery. Now. We did actually fix the frozen shoulder in less than one minute, yes or no? Absolutely. Okay. And both of you show me how far your shoulder was before. Uh, right about here. Okay. And within one minute, your shoulder was where? Which is where it is right now, right? Yeah. And, uh, okay, great. Now, Hermina, I want you to just tell me quickly your story in one minute or less, more or less, and what doctors and therapists have said and so on and so forth. Um, I was going around getting some help, and I felt like I was, um, I was being closed doors with information and um, how to treat my condition. Um, I looked up frozen shoulders, and, of course, I found trigenics, and within um, a matter of... Uh, a few minutes I was treated and um, now continuing my therapy and I'm getting amazing results. I feel great, confident, and my lifestyle is back. Thank you very much. And Rosemary? Well, my experience here at Trigenics is nothing short of a miracle. Um, I was diagnosed with uh, complicated fractures nine weeks ago and as a result developed a um, frozen shoulder and was seen by a number of um, physiotherapists and chiropractors in local hospitals here and was told that it would probably take two years, a year to two years to, to get my mobility back and uh, which was going to also interfere with the rehab uh, on my wrist. But, um, but um, anyways, coming here, I, 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 you did, uh, looked it up on the internet and thought, you know what, I might as well give this a shot. And my first visit, I improved tremendously. The second visit, I was able to go from this to this. And that was the actual procedure during the second visit. The, the first visit, visit, we did the examination. The right. second visit, we did the procedure. And I'm really looking forward to the responses to the people that are connected with the hospitals because they've heard of you and your mm -hmm. reputation, but this will actually be evidence for them. So and what happened with your, with your hand? Oh, and, and the wrist, too. I couldn't believe it. It was. I, it's not only the mobility that I've gotten. I've gotten the strength in my hand, and the temperature is different in the hand. It was cold, and now it's, it's back to being warm. But I was able to, this morning, hold an actual hair dryer and do my own curls. It was amazing. And my treatment was yesterday. Yesterday. I took no painkillers today. It's remarkable. Let's do a big wave for everybody. Here we are with our shoulders, okay? <laughs> up in the air, up in the air. Okay, if you want to get your frozen shoulder fixed, you just give us a call here at 416-481-1936. That's 416-481-1936. Or go to www.shoulderfix.com. That's shoulderfix.com or frozenshoulder.ca. Frozenshoulder.ca. And the general website, the worldwide website, is Trigenics. Dot com. I'm Dr. Alan Olo Austin here with you today with two success stories for Frozen Shoulder. I hope that you're one of them soon. If it's better for you, then it's better for me too. Let's separate, keep it separated. If it's better for you, then it's better for me too Let's separate, keep it separated, dead yeah.